915, welcome back. Are you sure that you're eating the right foods at the right time? Health and fitness expert Stephanie Manser joins us, and she's going to pit two healthy snacks mm -hmm. against each other, and I'm going to have to make a guess yes. which one I think is best <laughs> and which one I think that we should be eating before a workout. Okay, Because I'm looking at these, and I'm like, uh, everything would <laughs> I know. be fine before a workout? <laughs> so what should I be thinking about, first and foremost, when I'm going into a workout? What mm -hmm. should I be fueling my body with? Right, so, and that's, I love that word, fuel. So I always talk about this with my clients. We need to make sure that we have enough fuel and that we look at food as fuel. So when you're hitting the gym and let's say you've had a long day at work, maybe you had lunch at noon and you're trying to get to a 6 or 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. workout class or go to the gym at that time, your body is physically hungry. So you need to make sure that you have enough protein for energy, but you also need to have a little bit of carbohydrates. Well, now I'm giving away. <laughs> now I'm giving everything Don't give away. It all away, <laughs> first of all. Uh, but I know a lot of people say like, hey, I'm trying to lose weight. Right. So it seems counterproductive to put food in my right. body, but you're not going to get what you want out of a workout exactly. if you're not preparing to go into it. All right, exactly. so you want to jump right yes. in? Yes, all right, let's okay, work what do you, quiz what time. Are these two here? All right, so we've got regular granola bars versus a protein bar. Now keep in mind, we're also trying not to break the bank with calories. Okay. So um, let's have you pick. Oh my gosh, um, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, good job. Okay. Yes, that's right. right. Okay, one. so protein bar. So this protein bar has about 200 calories in it versus the 150 calories of granola. So 50 calorie difference is not that big of a deal and we're getting that protein. So if you're one of those people that shows up at the gym starving, you need to make sure that you have protein. And this actually has nuts in it too. So we're getting protein that's also in the form of a little bit of, you know, carbs. Right, so, and that can be misleading pairing. if you're looking at the nutrition facts and see the right. nuts because that's gonna drive the fat content exactly up, these are good they're healthy good fats. oils okay yes. what else we all got? right so the next pairing is greek yogurt or a protein shake protein shake is my go-to okay am i doing this right all right you're doing no you're doing this <laughs> okay. right and this is actually the one trick question okay. on the quiz right. <laughs> so these are equal so we've got protein in the protein powder and we've also got protein in the greek yogurt now had i put regular yogurt out there that would have been a different story you need to make sure that there's protein in your yogurt in order for that to be a good you know substantial enough snack so the Greek yogurt is great for the protein. The regular ones can be packed with sugar. They are too. packed with sugar, yes, okay. and they're just empty calories, so they're not really doing much for you except for a little spike in your insulin levels. But then you're going to crash. So gotcha. it'll give you a little bit of energy quick, but it's not going to last. And again, empty calories. Okay. So next quiz question: If you're running out of the office and you have that, you know, candy bowl sitting there next to you, <laughs> stay away from it. Yes. Run. Make that part of your workout. But would you rather have, you know, one little square of dark chocolate, or would you rather have some? You know, chocolate, I like to call these chocolate, they're balls. So, like little chocolate okay. that you can either make them homemade or buy them. Well, these look more filling. And okay. I have a feel this just looks like candy to me. Right. So, I'm yes. going to go with this one. <laughs> Good job. Yes, okay. you're right. All right. So, the dark chocolate, while it does have health benefits, it's really giving you nothing else besides that spike in your blood sugar levels. So, we want to go with something that's paired with a carb. So, these are these are nourished snacks. These are actually made by a nutritionist. Um, so, you know, they're healthy. <laughs> um, these are by Joy Bauer. And they, you know, you can ha make these at home on your own you see those chia seed flax seed mm -hmm. chocolate little balls that you can make you can even add protein powder or you can just buy them at target and or look Amazon. At the, the entire thing 100 calories yeah exactly okay. so they're low in calories but again you've got those carbs so that's going to be good for fast energy okay but you also have it paired um, with a little bit of healthier fat and then moving on we've got two more all right so chicken or quinoa. I've heard protein resonate through this whole thing so I'm gonna go yeah. with the chicken okay now this is also a trick oh, here we go I'm gonna pick quinoa because okay. quinoa is um, it's a carb heavy protein Protein. So that's going to give you more energy right away and it's going to keep you fueled because there's protein in it. And then we've got kind of an obvious one, energy drink or water. water. Yes, you got it. Always Way to go. water, girl. <laughs> All right, Stephanie, where can people go to find more information? Sure, you can join the free 21-day challenge at stepitupchallenge.com. All right, there you have it, Dar. We helped you out, hopefully. I know you're working with the trainer these days. I like all of those tips and I would have gone with all of your picks as well. Good.